Hey guys, what is up? It is the Gas the Gengar back again with Pokemon Glaze. Last time we left off, we talked to Blake and that other person. I've not paid attention to their names at all, to be honest, so I don't know. And we were told to cut off uh, the other guy's father, Michael, at the top of Mount Stratus to try to save Dialga Palka, yeah, and Garantina. And we just beat this grunt and things happened. And now we're in a battle. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I'm bad at intros, if you haven't noticed. Um, so let's let's get this popping. All right, Laron, Flame Wheel. So I don't. Oh, like, I literally just stopped the episode. And I was thinking, like, what else do I really talk about? And it was just like I want to talk about the game, but I honestly don't really know what's going on in the game because it's either not been clear or I've just been not been paying attention. Or I just fast forwarded through it, which I'm, I'm pretty sure I've been reading all the text and just paying close attention to it. It's just that it's hard. It doesn't feel like if we're 20,000 feet above sea level. Are you tired? It's okay if you're tired. Take a rest here. Yo, thanks, dude. No shame in resting when tackling Mount Stratus. Come back and you heal again. The hikers in this game are more helpful than the Elite Four champion that I'm helping. Sad. Maybe a kid, but I don't get mercy on you. Um. I guess I want to talk a little bit about Pokemon Uranium. So, if you don't know, Pokemon Uranium is a fan made game that's been in the process for about nine years now. Um, I don't really know much about the game other than it involves a lot of Fakemon. I believe that's their name. They're for people's like made up Pokemon, which they don't look to the the starters at least don't look that interesting to me. But it's not like mad because a lot of starter Pokemon in some games just felt like poo to me, and I didn't really like them until I got to the third form. Like Chimchar, I didn't really like as much. I do. I don't. It's weird. It's like. It's not nostalgia, because I've gone- i felt hard for nostalgia before, but... There's like, times where I think back to certain events, and I get this weird feeling in my stomach. Like... Chimchar- I don't- it's like a feeling of years. Like, when I think of Chimchar, I think of when I first got Pokemon Diamond in, uh... My middle school, like before I moved to where I am now. And it's just like the specific feeling that I get whenever I think of a thought from that specific time period. It just feels like just a f I don't. It feels like every year has a specific like feel to it that we just get accustomed to it like after a while, and we don't notice it until we think back to that time. But anyway, that that, that went weird real fast. But. It's been in development for nine years now. The Fakemon don't really seem... Well, the beginning Pokemon, Fakemon don't like, appeal too much to me. And I'm just really kind of upset because that game was nine years in development and after I think a week or so, Nintendo shut it down. Now, I do understand that it, people could be confusing with the actual Pokemon game and stuff like that. Kind of like how uh, Captain Sparkles had to change his name from Fortress Fallout or... Yeah, from Fortress, uh, Fortress Fallout to something else because Fallout was apparently trademarked by Bethesda and they, and for some reason they thought that, uh, like, people would think that for some reason his tower defense game is an actual Fallout game. I, I don't know why. But, I kind of feel bad because they've worked nine years on this stuff and they now just got a following, well, they've had a following for a while, like, over... The game's gotten a one, uh, yeah, like 1.5 million downloads already, and it's just insane. Um, if you want to find the games, you have to like hunt them down, just like the Metroid 2 fan remake. But it's like, I, I really think it's kind of stupid that they're shutting down their fans like this. Like, they could always just change the name from P uh, Pokemon to like maybe Pocket. P Pocket Uranium? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure Pokemon... Maybe. I don't know. Trade Stone. I'm not sure. Does Pokemon have, like, the trademark on Pocket for, like, Pocket Monsters? Also, where am I going? This feels like a final stretch, and I'm not ready for it, so I'm gonna go the other direction. 
right after I heal from this dude. But I hope that eventually they get all this stuff sorted out so the guy can play our releases game again. Um, they've been. I've said this three times already, but again, the game's been two years in development. But also, in those three years, they did this completely for free just because they wanted to, you know? Like, they didn't do this because they thought they could do something better than Nintendo or thought they could profit off it. This was just kind of like a dream creation? I don't- what are they called? Um, it's kind of like how Skyforge felt compared to my game and this other game or whatever before that. Um, it just it feels like a game that they made because they wanted to make a good game, not because they wanted to make a lot of money or whatever, and it, like, from the demo that I played, which was long ago, um, I thought the game was really good, I really like the idea of nuclear Pokemon, which are weak to all Pokemon, but also super effective against all Pokemon, though it is a kind of bumpy mechanic once you think about it, and they even have stuff like Wonder Trade and this, like, special events implemented into their games. Dragon Claw, hello. Wait, oh, maybe there's... Wait, so was the direction I was going the right way, or was this one the right way? Full Restore, alright. Nah, uh, that was... I, I will say right now that that was annoying as hell. Also, I'm regretting waking up, getting a drink, and just skipping breakfast completely. I was actually offered breakfast this morning, because, uh... I don't know why, but my sister just... My sister just felt like making everyone breakfast this morning, and I don't know what time it was, but I was really tired. And I just said, no thank you, but thanks for asking. And that was it, but... Like, two hours later, I just smell pancakes and sausage, and I'm like, fuck. I screwed up. Um... So, we're gonna try this way real quick. Because... I just need to... I just want to assure myself that, like, this is not where we need to go. Well... Is this an original song? I don't think I've ever heard this song in a Pokemon game before. I think I have, and it's just like... Is it like a credit song? I just want to sit here for a minute, this is really nice. Now, all they've needed to do is meet those cra uh, clouds, like scroll along the screen, and that would've been perfect. I hate bumping into walls. But, wow, that's that's really nice, you know? I really love, like... I just love atmosphere. Um, if you didn't know, I really don't like talking about the series because it got, it got a lot of... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, if you don't know, on my other channel, I played a game that was... A furry dating sim. And I liked the game a lot, but a lot of people think I liked it for the wrong reasons. A lot of people thought I was playing it just for the good parts that they kept harassing me to upload. But the only reason I was uploading it was because the game had a beautiful atmosphere with the music and the characters and everything. Like, if they just had, like, clean routes for the characters, I would just play through those, to be honest, because, like... They're just great. But, yeah. Ambiance and atmosphere is a great thing in games that a lot of people don't have that much anymore. Um, I would love to see a lot more of it in like games today. No. Like, Come on, grapes. Come on, grapes. I don't have a ground type move, but I don't have a water type. Actually, no. I'm an idiot. I have both. No, I have one. Do I have... No, I do have both. 
Actually, no. Wukong, you can stay in Rock Smash Electivire. And then Grapes will switch out to Kipper. But yeah, I really like games that have really heavy atmosphere or just send a really good overall message. Like, let's see. I like Psychonauts because it's a really simple story but told in a creative way. Um, people are gonna, I know, probably, like, be like, it's, it's not a simple, it's not a simple story. We talking about the kid who goes to camp to run away from his problems. It's like, that's basically the story is a kid named Raz runs away from home, which is a circus or whatever, where he's treated as a freak and a monster because of an ability that he has that he didn't ask for which is his telekinetic powers. So he goes away to this camp that he's always liked, like wanted to go to because of a pamphlet that he had which had a really moving speech or whatever. And um, he gets there and you know, they're like, uh, you only have like five or so days till we call your parents to pick you up and whatnot. And in that time, he just realizes what he likes, he has a love interest, and all that jazz, but it's just, like, really nice. Um, talk about it in a second. Alright, sorry, I'm back. My neighbor's dog is barking, and it just has, has no sign of stopping, so I guess I'm gonna have to record over it. But, oh, good, you've made it. You remember the plans, right? Fusion Lab's just up ahead, let's hurry. Let's get out of this cold. I'm going to make sure nobody enters or leaves. If you need your Pokemon to be healed, I'll do my best to help. Boom, I just left. So... I mean... But yeah, Psychonauts tells a really, like, good story. It has really fun gameplay. And there's just a lot of elements into it, like it's a collectathon, it's a puzzle game, it's an adventure game, it's platforming. You know, it's, it's really fun, and there's a few good mini games in there too. Uh, let's go right into Fusion Labs. I think this is like. Uh, yeah, let's see Magma and some Aqua. Look, I don't have time to deal with anyone right now, I need to find a way to make reusable revives soon or I'll be in trouble. Yo, you're not an, a traditional Team Fusion grab, you must be an intruder. Wish your buddy was, uh, that smart. Right, let's go with the flame wheel. I'm really glad that Henry's back there. Even though I just learned his name now. I don't have the clearance to go further, but boundaries of the labs I've heard all told the password is something to do with the month of April. What? Alright, so let's grab another like level low level mon and give them a uh, spot in the limelight, I guess. I, I still don't know the phrasing, I'm sorry. Important men are at work, don't disturb us. Men I wanna talk to you! I also like games like Dark Souls because they tell a narrative and they obviously have the ambiance and like atmosphere of a game that is great. Like, I really like the thing where there's like, there's no music throughout the whole game until you get to a boss. Because then you, you know when stuff's gonna get real when a boss is introduced. I just feel like there's some kind of like, Adrenaline rush or something once you get to a Dark Souls boss. Like, why do you want to go beyond so badly? Whatever, if you remember correctly, the password is something Dialga uses extensively. S time? War of Time? The what is April in the war? What is April in like Dialga to do? We're looking for the password, I presume? No. I guess. 
maybe? Lantern! Beach Blade! Uh, the hardest number two around is that's the password. Titanium? Shit. Um. Material around, that's the password. Kitchen room, room, the last one else. Harvest was your own own. Steel? I have no clue. I feel like this is really obvious and I'm just overlooking it. I don't remember the name of the orb, and I want to try that. Okay, Google. Dialga Adamant Orb? I believe it's Adamant for Dialga. Tina. was like the time it was is it diamond sorry Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. I really hate Google. Release date of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Okay. Oh, it's Diamond. Is it the, uh, the gemstone of April, like, diamond? That would make a lot of sense now. Wow, I'm a fucking idiot. Alright, so that was... I feel real stupid. Um, I don't want to start this now because it's almost 20 minutes and... You know, yeah, we're gonna cut the episode here. Sorry, it's a little too short. Um... I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Leave a like, comment down below what you would like to see in the future. Um, or just overall comment, like, if I should be doing something better or whatever. Um, and, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you all have a great day. And until next time, bye bye